Hi, I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com, and I know why you're here. You're watching this video because you goofed up, yeah. You thought you were going to be the big superhero. You promised your significant other that while she or he was at the store, you were going to be the super electrician, and you were going to switch out that three-way switch. Well, you took it all apart, put it all back together, and you know what? You goofed up the wires. It's not working right. Well, you're running out of time but I'm going to save you. I'm going to show you exactly how to fix it in less than 90 seconds. But here's the deal. Once I show you how to fix it and your light's working just fine, you need to go to askthebuilder.com and subscribe to my free newsletter. That's a fair deal, I think. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to go down and turn the power off if you haven't already. I don't want you getting electrocuted. Your three-way switch is a pretty unique switch. It's got three separate screws plus the green grounding screw. Don't worry about what each one of those screws does. We don't have time. If you want to discover all that, go watch my other three-way switch video. The next thing is take three pieces of green or blue painter's tape and write the numbers one, two, three on each piece of tape. Put a piece of tape on each of the wires. It does not make any difference which wire gets which piece of tape. Remember, the white neutral wires, they stay inside the box. You can start by attaching the bare or green grounding wire to the green screw on the switch. It's going to stay put there for the entire operation. The next thing to do is to orient your three-way switch so the single black screw is up and the two brass screws are down. You're now going to play musical chairs with the wires. You're going to attach the number one wire to the black screw at the top, the number two wire to the screw just beneath it, and the number three wire to the other screw on the other side of the switch. You can then test the circuit to see if you now have the switch working perfectly. If the three-way switch still does not work right, the next step is to put the number one wire where the number two wire was just before. Put the number two wire where the number three wire was, and then move the number three wire to where the number one wire was when we first started. You can then test the circuit to see if you now have the switch working perfectly. Here's our final shot. I guarantee you it's going to work. Take the number three wire and move it down below to the brass screw to where the number one wire just was before. Move the number one wire over to where the number two wire was just before on the brass screw, the second one. And finally, move that number two wire up to that single black screw at the top, and bingo, I guarantee you it's gonna work. Oh, one thing before I finish up. I've got my switch working perfectly. The wires are right where they're supposed to be. It was awesome. When you figure out where the wires go, finally, the final set, the final iteration, you'll notice in the video before, the wires looked really sloppy. They didn't have the right loops. You have to make sure you do it right and you have to make sure that that loop is aimed the correct way, that you have just enough wire strips so that there's no bare wire sticking out beyond the switch, and that the loop is nice and tight. Do that on all of your connections so that you meet code. Simple as that. Hey, dummy. Did you install the new switch or not? Yes, honey. It's all finished. Hey, remember, we made a deal. Go to askthebuilder.com right now on the home page and subscribe to my free newsletter and you can listen to my new podcast too. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.